hi loves you are welcome to olives in this video i'm going to share with you how to draft a simple cap sleeve please keep on watching and let's get right into this tutorial this is the paper on which i've marked the starting lines to start drafting this is going to be the height of the sleeve as well as the length of the sleeve and here will be the width of the sleeve i'll be attaching the cap sleeve to this dress so i'll measure around the armhole of the dress i've already sewn the side seam together okay so after measuring i had 17 inches i'll divide this 17 into two and i had eight and a half inches okay so let me show you something this is the style my client sent to me and this is how she wants the sleeve to be so you could see that even after she raised her arm she still has more ease around her sleeve okay so i'm going to increase the total width that i have by one inch which will be nine and a half so that will be the total width of the sleeve the height will be on fold and i'll divide the nine and a half inches i have into two again because this is half of the sleeve we are drafting okay so i'll place it right from the center and mark now in case you don't want much ease like she wants you can maintain your eight and a half inches or if you want a little ease you can add half inch to whatever you have mind you her round angle measurement might be different from yours so whatever you have divided by two and add a little allowance if you want okay now go ahead and add extra half inch to whatever measurement you've marked first which will serve as allowance okay now the length of the sleeve i'm going to use is three and a half inches you can make use of less than that like two and a half or even three inches okay so with this three and a half inches i'll add extra half inch which will be four inches so i'll mark this four inches from here now I'll connect these points together with broken lines and along the top part of the broken line i'll go up by two inches this is just going to be a guideline so we can curve the sleeve okay so i'll go up by two centimeters sorry and connect this to the midpoint okay and the next thing is to just join it to this place like this i believe you can see that the crown part of my sleeve is really curvy and this is because i want to have guarders around the crown okay so if you want a normal sleeve without guarders go in by just half inch and connect just like we did first so you should have something like this just make sure that you blend everything together okay so I'll clean this off since that is not what I'm going for. I'll outline the shape of the sleeve. I'll be making gathering stitch along the sleeve like this. This is the fabric. The hem of the sleeve is also going to be on fold. This is the grain or the selvage of the fabric, the already knitted part. So this sleeve is going to be folded on bias, okay? That is across the grain. So you could see that across the grain, the fabric stretches. I've cut out a square which is of 10 and a half inches that's the total width of the sleeve okay so i cut it 10 and a half inches by 10 and a half inches now i'm going to fold it just as i showed you first i'm going to fold it into two like this i'll fold again this way in a form of a triangle 
i'll place my sleeve on it like this so this side is folded okay that's the hem of the sleeve it's unfold so after pinning i'll move on to cut out I'll notch the center of the sleeve. This is how the full sleeve looks like after being cut out. Now the red mark I made from the crown of the sleeve as I mentioned that I'm going to gather. I'm going to do that from one end to the other. Now for those of us who wouldn't want gathers at the crown area, I've cut out another fabric which I'm not going to use anyways. So I've trimmed off the top to have a normal one. So this is how it looks. So you could see the difference. This looks simple, but the top part has a higher crown. So for this, it's really simple. Find the midpoint of your sleeve and match this with the seam line of your shoulder. So all you have to do is to pin till you get to the end of your sleeve. After this, you stitch them together and that is it. Okay, so for me, I'll move on to make my gathering stitch. This is how it looks and this is the part that faces the bobbin. So that is where I'll pull. On the back armhole of the dress, I'm going to mark from the side seam three and a half inches upwards and I'll make a notch. And for the front, I'm going to go up by three inches. Why? Because we have fullness or our breast is at the front part. Okay, by the time our breast raises after wearing it's going to raise the sleeve up meeting or aligning with the other side of the back okay where the sleeve will start i don't know if you get what i'm trying to say so i'm going to measure three inches and notch as well so those notches are going to be the starting point of the sleeve okay i will align the edge of the sleeve with the notch I'll continue pinning till I get to the midpoint like this. Okay, that part will not include the goddess. And I'll pin the other side of the armhole to the sleeve as well. I pin the pointed part of the sleeve beyond the notch so that by the time I stitch the half inch, it's going to align with the notch. Okay, so the excess I have around here, that is what I'm going to gather together. And after doing this, I'll pin it to the armhole of the dress okay now i'm not really making gathering just like a normal gathering okay i'm easing in the excess i have around the sleeve to fit into the armhole of the dress okay so it's not going to be much goddess and by the time you pull this goddess is just going to have a, a puffy like sleeve but it's not going to look like a puff and it's not going to look flat as well okay after gathering knowing well that it's going to fit into the sleeve, I'll tie the end of the stitch so it doesn't lose. I'll also tie the other end of the stitch. Now after doing this, I'll evenly spread the goddess, the little goddess I have, evenly spread it around. So you can see that it gave me a little puff, okay, and there is no much goddess, okay. Now at this point, you are not going to bother about the center because the center will not really align with the seam line of your shoulder, okay. So I'll pin the rest of the sleeve together with the armhole. After doing this, I'll stitch round with half inch allowance. This is how it looks like right now after stitching. 
so around the armhole i'm going to knitting it round and after knitting i'll fold the excess that the pattern has not been stitched the armhole i'll fold it in like this and stitch round to keep it in place okay if you don't want to use this method you can make use of bias or make bias out of the material and bang the round armhole that's the part that has not been stitched okay so i'll work on that and show you the result I know this dress is not mine, I just wore it for fit, okay? I'm not stealing it, but I hope you enjoyed learning with me. If yes, please give this video a thumbs up. Do subscribe to the channel, turn on your notification bell to be notified whenever I upload a new video. If you are new to this face, my name is Olivia. Thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!